So in this video, we're focusing on the 1976 Bicentennial Kennedy Half Dollar and all the errors that can make this coin extremely valuable. Now here is a 1976 Kennedy Half Dollar that has a broad strike out of collar and it's got no read on the edge. And you can obviously see that error taking place to the right of the coin there on the front. And then if we look there on the back, you can see that taking place as well. Now this is definitely something to look for when you're coin roll hunting half dollars. This coin here sold for over $120. Moving on to a 1976 Denver Minted Bicentennial Kennedy half dollar. Now this has a major curved 20% clip. It weighs 8.99 grams. Obviously it's got to weigh less because it's less of a coin here. It's clipped. But you might come across something like this and think that it's damaged or someone that cut it or maybe. So it is actually an error with that clip there. And that's why this half dollar sold for over $230. Next up is a very cool coin. Now I know what you're thinking, this is an off center, but it is actually a mirror brockage as well. So two errors taking place on this coin. It's off centered, obviously you can see that in the image displayed, and it's got a mirror brockage. So if we look at this next picture here, you will see that it doesn't have the reverse design of the Bicentennial Kennedy Half Dollar. It has the obverse being reflected on the back of the coin, and that's why it's a mirror brockage. This half dollar here sold for over $1,700. Next up is a very cool coin. This is definitely something to be on the lookout for when you're coin roll hunting half dollars as well. This is a 1976 Kennedy half dollar again that has a die adjustment strike. So it looks like the whole coin is faded out there and you can see that in the images displayed and that's why this Kennedy half dollar sold for over $200. Moving on to an error coin that we have talked about in the past on other denominations of coins as well. This is a 1976D and the obverse, meaning the front of the coin, is missing its clad layer. So you can see the inner copper layer of that coin there on the front. But if we go to the back of the coin, you can see the clad layer is on the back. However, it is missing on the front of the coin. And that's why this half dollar sold for over $200. And $50. Next up is another half dollar that you should definitely be looking for when you're searching through your collection or coin roll hunting half dollars. This has the obverse struck through mint error. So in 1976, again, you can see that taking place at the bottom of the coin on the date 1776 to 1976. And that's why this coin sold for over $115. Moving on to a 1976 Kennedy half dollar that was actually struck on a quarter. So obviously the whole Kennedy half dollar design cannot fit on a quarter planchet. And that's what we're seeing here taking place in these images. It only weighs 5.7 grams. And this half dollar sold for over $2,000. $500. Just to show you another off-center error that doesn't have the mirror brockage, just an off-center. Here's a 1976 Denver Minted Kennedy half dollar and this coin sold for over $300. Also just an example of a high graded 1976 Kennedy half dollar. This one here is sold for over $2,000. I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.